of seafood, you know, like so polished, that kind of thing. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just going to talk about my recent fun places or best places to eat in Lagos. They are very, very affordable and some of them you can get cheap food and the other one you can also get seafood so it's basically two places i'm going to be talking about today so i hope you guys enjoy it so first and foremost before we get into this vlog i'm going to talk about my outfit of the day first this is my week i got this from a brand on google my business i'm going to show it on the screen then i also got this dress from rinsta i'll show you guys the full view of this dress in a minute so guys this dress i got it from rinsta it is a t-shirt mini dress I, I wish you guys can see the full length i'll try and insert the clip for you guys it's really 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 nice you can wear it for casual outing you can wear it to hang out with the girls you can just simply wear it anywhere like if you just want something to just throw on and go this dress is perfect plus it's very very light so it's not really perfect for cold but if you're in the colder region you can wear this dress and put a jacket on it right now this dress if you're looking for some outfit ideas for yourself this dress is perfect let's get yes, let's get into the vlog so the first place i want to talk about is um Boca Hot. i've always always wanted to go to Boca Hot. if you're in lagos when this brand first came out well, i think it was the in thing when it comes to polished Boca. but we know that everywhere in lagos there's one Boca or one side place where they sell food or one mama put somewhere but this Boca Hot just came and polished Boca, you know so the story about me ending up in Boca Hot was very very interesting because that day i was basically coming from work and i was Famished, you know, when you feel like all the glucose in your head is gone, and if you're a biochemist, I wonder if you can understand what I'm saying. Like, I had no glucose left, I just needed to eat something. I was like, What will I, what will I eat? I was like, Ah, book food is still the best thing. And I saw book out around the Yaba Road. I said, Okay, let me just try them out. I've always wanted to go there, try that dish, and see it for myself. Like, all the reviews of uh, book out, book out, book out. Let's just know what it is. So, eventually, I got there, I ate um, Eva and I ate um, a fang soup I will insert a clip of me taking the soup but my only issue was that they actually wanted to eat amala and maybe okra or something no, amala or, or ewedu so but there was no ewedu, there was no amala so I had to go for a bar, whatever was available but it was evening though so you never can tell maybe when you go during the day um, early in the morning or so something you may get almost all the local dishes you desire but book out or the prices were okay for me the only issue I have with the um the food was almost tasting like normal restaurant dishes so the buka flavor was not there you know if you really eat buka you understand and you can really when you eat mama put food it's almost like you are eating homemade food food as compared to this one they've already polished it giving it this restaurant taste i'm sure the spices were just making it it doesn't really taste like a buka food but the prices are okay and they deliver to your house so you can order online and deliver to your office to your house and if you want to hang out with your friends or you want to do like a party for your colleagues you can actually order from book out and they will deliver to you so guys the second place i want to talk about is ocean basket yeah so you know there are many seafood spots in lagos if you really go out a lot you know there's some hot spot for seafood in lagos but the one that i was like i must try it out and they say it's affordable it is cheap one thing one thing you know all these reviews i know i was like i have to try out this place plus i've always wanted to eat seafood i've once in a while you eat shrimp in your soup crayfish here and there then you eat a crab all those kind of things they still don't count as when you go for a platter of seafood you know like so polished that kind of thing so i went for to eat at Ocean Basket recently and it was kind of fun so I went for a platter of two I also insert a clip of how everything is and all that so my first impression when I got there was like ah, this place is kind of nice you know this place is polished a little bit artsy some weird weird writings on the walls like that when you read it you even make you laugh or something so the terrain was nice you can even sit outdoors and you can take different type of cocktails different type of mocktails anything you desire when it comes to drink even if you, are, you don't drink normally you can take soft drinks and they also have different type of seafood and normal food but i think mostly the normal food that mixed with their platter of food is basically seafood ocean basket that's why how they got their name so on that day i just uh, i always wanted to try out the platter of two the rave about it is just a lot so i was like ah, it's my time to find out if this thing is really worth yeah, my money. Various options apart from the platter of two, some of them like one full platter of 
9,000 plus. You can see, see food variation of 6,000 plus. But I just were like, ah, we are two. So let's just go for that platter of two. In my mind, it's going to be just, you know, enough for two people. What, but if you ask, what is enough for two people? <laughs> Who can really define that when it comes to something you've not tried before and all that so it was a lot so we had different variety of seafood but the first thing first that actually caught my attention with their service is their appetizer like i could not believe it so if you had come to that place serving you're very sure that they will first give you appetizer before they will offer you seafood so when i got there and i was offered um bread and different different type of um I call it spices or sauces. I don't know what, what to call it. But I will insert the clip. Like these things were nice. I had to try out different different flavors and all that. I was like, wow. So I always insert the pictures of we changing courses, trying out the food and all that. Then eventually, after waiting for like forty five to like sixty minutes, because after they gave us the appetizer, it was as if that we are keep us waiting and. Not thinking about the plate of food. So when we are done with the appetizer, we realize, oh, we have waited this long and food has not arrived. So the plate of food eventually came. So we got our plate of on a tray for seafood. It contained different type of seafood varieties. I still now I don't even know some of the names because the only way you can feel what I felt is to see the videos of all the things I was eating. I was like, oh. as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that was familiar for me is the chips. And most probably the um, shrimp, then the fried rice by the side. Then there were some weird, weird variations of things. In short, I was tired. Then there's one other. Just watch the clip insert. You know, you will get what I'm saying. It was just like, what is this? We ate, 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 and we were like, ha. Ah. In short, we didn't eat half before we got full. You know, like I ate half, and I was like, God. So there's some. Of some of this seafood that will taste like ah oh, what is this? There was one I particularly ate like I don't want to know the name, I don't want to ever see it in my life. It tasted like poop, trust me. So we were wondering are people just go out, eat seafood and also eat poop alongside calling themselves seafood, you know. So I had that and I was like, What is this? I had to use uh, the lemon slice they added to our platter of um two and when I had to take that lemon, that's when I felt better. So imagine if I had decided to try all that variety of seafood, including sushi, you know. I wonder what would have happened to me later. But thankfully, the toilet is not far. But imagine, so if you have tried out seafoods before and you have different variations you've tried out, can you comment down below? What type of seafood do you like? What about seafood options do you normally go for? Do you recommend trying out sushi? I'm curious about sushi. I was like, though they say it's raw food, raw food, raw, food, raw fish, raw fish, raw fish with wrapped with rice. I was like, with the rice around it, maybe eatable though. But if you have eaten seafood before or you have eaten um, sushi before, what are the varieties of sushi? How do you eat it? Do you know how to use chopsticks? Because I've never used chopsticks before. I ain't ashamed of it. I want to really try out to use chopsticks. Maybe someday I will travel to Asia, any part of Asia, and I will learn that chopstick and whatever. But if you've tried sushi, sushi before, can you comment down below? How do you eat it? What other flavors do you eat it with? How does it how does it pass through your throat without feeling like you're eating something raw? Then if you have other flavors of seafood, the uh, sea, uh, flavors of drink that you take along the whenever you go for seafood options, comment down below which variety of options you like mojito because I tried that mojito and it's tended like spirit. So if you don't like spirit and lemon or is it mint leaf or whatever mixed together there, I don't think that drink is meant for you. So guys, if you like this kind of video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. See you another time. Bye guys.